All right, so now that we have the seismic data, let's check the tilt data and see if we can find this event there, too. So the way I'm going to do that is I click tilt. Uh, I'm going to choose this station. I'm going to choose the radial and tangential components that actually are chosen for me. Um, and I'm also going to choose to, to see rainfall because we know that sometimes when there's, when there's a lot of rainfall, that can lead to a spurious signature in the tilt data. And so we want to make sure that there's no rainfall event correlated with this thing that we're looking for. All right, the start time and the end time are the same as what I had in there before, so all I have to do is click Submit here, and up pops the tilt time series data for the same time period as the seismic data was before. So let's just scroll down so we can see both of these two at the same time. All right, this plot has time and days on the x-axis again, and on the y-axis over here is tilt in microradians. Um, on the y-axis on the right side is rainfall in millimeters. So there's three different lines plotted here, so it's a little more complicated than the seismic line. Um, the black data is the rainfall data, so that means we have to use the y-axis that's over on the right side to see what's going on. And then um, the blue and the green are the two different components of tilt for the same station. And they're just oriented um, out of 360 degrees. See? So, so let's, let's check what's going on here. I can see that this, this blue line is showing deflation. So that's negative motion. That's towards the caldera um, down to about this time. And interestingly enough, right here was where inflation begins. And that inflation begins exactly at the same time as the seismic signal. Right? So right ending with this little peak corresponds very well in time to the seismic signal. And I can also see that there's not a big rainfall event associated with this. So I think we can convince ourselves that rainfall isn't what's causing this. There's something more physical going on because it's causing a seismic signal and a tilt signal at the same time. So that's pretty cool.